internet, this is E. Schrodinger's cat, and welcome to another episode of Finish the Base. I've been doing a little bit of stuff with the terraforming and the, and the ground and all that stuff. Try, just trying to get some, uh, I brought the half block scale that was uh, I had going on over here, and I also kind of wrapped around this, uh, uh, I think, what is, it? what is this? Limestone, limestone all the way around here. And I, I, I built this up. This was, uh, is not entirely complete. <laughs> it is a bit of a shell, uh, but I, it will be complete eventually when I figure out what I want to do with this thing here. And I also changed out a lot of the water. I didn't touch any of this terrain other than, uh, using the, this thing, the, oh, no, no. When that happens, you got to run away scared because if you, if you mouse over one of the things, it, uh, it crashes your client. So, uh, Creative Block Exchanger is very nice from Draconic Evolution. Another one of those nice things you have when you're doing a creative series on a tactical mod pack. Um, so, today I think I, I really want to work more with the landscaping because there, I, it's really, like, I, um, I changed out the water to, uh, what is this, coolant? It's like IC2 coolant or something like that. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, IC2 coolant contains, uh, which is, it has this nice, interesting color. It's the same stuff I used over at, if we can just get over there, slow ass flying, uh, over here. It's the same thing we used over here, and, and I'm going to continue to add this kind of stuff to it, probably in a more detailed way or something or some fashion. But uh, yeah, today I really want to get working on this area right here. I, I filled in, he, I created this lake just basically by putting the coolant wherever the, the Y level was. So this terrain is definitely changing, and I want to have this big like thing arching like that and have this little pond be in halfway inside of a cave. I'm gonna see if I can get some of the terrain like that. I accidentally an entire mountain. Look at this. Look at this giant thing I made. Yeah, I just kind of kept going. Yeah, I got this little like hole going through here, a little pathway around here. I also expanded the, uh, the, uh, sand along a lot of the ways but this this terrain isn't touched um but this is <laughs> i built this whole thing i should really get world edit on here but it's such a pain in the ass to put modded worlds on servers with world edit it's annoying and i just procrastinated so i just it's been two days hello lag spike yeah this world's it's uh it's not in the best state uh, technically speaking but it is in a state. It is still running, so we have that at least. But yeah, this is the mountain thing that I have made. And I'm going to detail it out more. And that was just the, the very basic shape. But I got to bring in some of the limestone. And um, there's, a, there's another cave down in here. If I turn on night vision, you can see there's a big cave inside of this thing as well. It is quite large and took a very long time, but it is here now and we must decorate it with things. Yeah, it has been another day. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of terraforming stuff, just a lot of stuff in general, and a lot of stuff that doesn't really make for good videos, so it's gonna be uh, a lot of progress that doesn't look like a lot of stuff. I expanded this uh, yellow, the yellow grass stuff, onto the rest of the uh, ferric sand that's already turned to fourth block. Uh, I didn't do it up here because I forgot, and I, I did a, like a bunch of shaping of the land, and I, you, I obviously, I changed a bunch of stuff to limestone to add some color and, and, and whatnot. And also added the, this cyan. I, I really love this, uh, I don't know why I said cyan. I don't know, I really love this combination. The fer the oxidized ferric sand and the hardened clay and the limestone. It's a nice, it's a nice color. But, uh, this goes all the way around. <laughs> this, this is quite the ordeal, this mountain here. I kind of took too large a project, but hey, whatever. Uh, that's what we're here for, I guess. And this is the backside, and it just kind of sprawls. It looks cool on Journey Map. It looks cool. It looks like a little, like, I don't know. 
I want to put a building on top of this little mountain over here thing so that I can have kind because this one, uh, this one's kind of on, a, on a, like a little mini mountain. There's like a little cliff here and it kind of looks elevated above the, I guess I'm probably going to make this like a swampland or something. Sometimes I just like place blocks in places uh, with no like plan. And then the inspiration kind of comes, so that's what I'm going to try and do now. Uh, because I'm not entirely sure, uh, lag spike. Still lag spiking? Wow, this is a long one. Uh, yeah, this, this world is, uh, there's a lot of chisel and bits, folks. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a whole, 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 whole lot. So, um, I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to nestle a little building would be. I'm thinking some sort of, maybe an observatory or... Um, I don't know. On second thought, let's start with full blocks because that will make it easier to do the patterns and will thusly expedite the process considerably. So, what kind of shape we going for a building over here? We kind of got this, uh, I'm using, I'm using this, uh, model for building, the, uh, cyan clay and the, the dark concrete, because, I don't know, it picked it at random, basically. So, this... It's gonna come up here, right? And then I want to curve. Let's let's add three more, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's good. That seems suitable. That's acceptable. And once we have that, we can bring the back up. This is we've we've done similar things in the in the past. So I'm I'm probably gonna detail this out a little bit and come back because we did it over there. And I want to wrap this around here, I think. It'll be decent enough. But a little bit of an angle? Sort of? Nah, it's good enough. Good enough for me. Gonna wrap it up. How, how many, how many thingy things is this thing? Uh, it is. It is. Uh, 26. So this shall also be a 26. We shall have it be that way, and it shall be that way. We decree 15, so that's plus 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, great. So this is what I got going. Ignore uh, this for, I'll get, I'll get to that later. Uh, I got this, I, I uh, detailed these out with the similar design over there, which you can't really see because of the fog. <laughs> uh, but uh, similar, slightly different, but similar. Uh, goes around here. I f obviously filled in the back. Uh, with black concrete, and I got these windows going here. I might add some I'm probably gonna add some colors in here, but I just didn't get around to it yet. And this, uh, is very bad and needs changing, but we'll figure that out in a hot sec. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm kind of making a, another, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making shapes and seeing what happens, <laughs> because I, I don't know, I just, that just, that's just how how it goes. So um, I'm having um, this area be like uh, it's it's gonna be that pattern right there for the um, that, that sort of motif or, or combination of blocks, and of course gonna bring it down to a smaller scale once I get it in place. But I've I've been finding setting planning things out with full blocks to be quite useful because it means that it is easy for me to use the patterns to copy over designs and expedite certain things which makes lets me build better and faster so let's see how's this corner going it goes like this right like meh, and then just like one like that yeah um so i'll do that on the top too i'm not sure how far i want this to go out because I want it to be, I want it to connect to another building, which will have kind of some hallways down and connect up over here, but I don't want this middle part to look too weird or unsupported. I'm thinking, so this, this is going to be a solid structure. It's going to be a solid cube with uh, the lighter basalt in the middle. Which, I don't know if you can visualize what's visualized in my brain, because I, my visualizations are fairly abstract and not very helpful. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, it's gonna be a little weird. I don't exactly know how, what I'm doing for this, but I'm, I'm just gonna fill in these, this shape and then take it from there. 
It has been a few days since I was able to record for various reasons. I uh, have done a, a, a lit, a, a lit, a lot. I was trying to say a lot and a bit at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I got this metal part going. Uh, that's the part I was making at the end of the last clip. Kind of, wow, my mouse was weird. I think I pulled the cord weird with my elbow or something. But yeah, I got this design, and of course I mirrored uh, this over here to that side. We don't have a lot of symmetrical buildings yet. Um, we have we have symmetricalness in uh, some of the things, like... You know, there's axes of symmetry, and wow, lots of lag spikes. Big lag, very spike, wow. Jesus, it's still going. Okay, here we go. We're back on track. All right, we got another one. Holy crap, I need to allocate more RAM. My computer is having a having a field day. Jeez, Lord almighty. All right. Uh, it's the loading of chunks of chisel and bits. Takes forever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got, I got... Uh, I'm trying to remember what was here the last time. I like took a, a, uh, a sneak peek at the end of the last clip that I recorded, but I was too lazy to watch all of it, so I don't know what was here the last time I was here. But this is what's here now. I got this floor. It's like glass floor. I still need to put like stairs. This area here is like totally... I don't know what to do with this area because I... I need to put stairs somewhere, but, like, it doesn't really fit into this design. It would be weird. So, I don't know. And then there's this, which is, like, does that need to be there? I I guess not. Uh, no, it doesn't. It, it's totally unnecessary that this whole platform is here. Oh, that needs to be there. Yeah, it's, it's... It's, uh, clearly, clearly, definitely, properly planned out with the utmost degree of caution. Uh, but yeah, I need to figure out some way to make this building not look super boring. Wow, my hand just twitched. Um, not, not, not start, not this recording session with a ton of success and uh, finesse. But, um... Yeah, I got this here, and I was originally going to bring this whole building down, but then I realized that, you know, I did all this kind of uh, uh, terraforming stuff, and I want to be able to see it. So I want to have uh, some beams, some, like, big columns that come down here, under here. I don't know what purpose. <laughs> I still need to think of a purpose for that kind of situation or maybe I'll just bring it down and forfeit this area I'm not sure but uh yeah I think this is yeah I got this design on the corner here it's kind of diagonal lines it's starting starting to come together it'll be a, a little bit of a um I uh yeah, something needs to break up symmetry definitely something needs to break up symmetry but it it does put a nice um put a nice feeling on this mountain here. You got something sticking out of it. It'll look better when that's filled in, but uh, it's it makes this, like, this place right here feel quite populated because there's all these, all this tall stuff going around here, but uh, I need to figure out what is gonna be going on down here. I think I know what I want to do with this area, and that is make a dock for some deep-sea exploration vehicles well, they're, where they would load in, load out, you know, whatever they needed to. So I'm going to put some pillars here, like in here, or maybe like five wide or something. One, two, ah, lagged bike. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, yes, that's five. Uh, that, that could, that could work. Yep, pillars that wide. Yep. I got a little bit of a thing going. I got these here. They're pretty boring and simple and, well, well not, I mean, they're not done. That something needs to go in here, some sort of design. But I've been working on this design for these. I didn't like how, uh, bland it was, so I started branching out some stuff. And I got these patterns pretty much all the way around and over here. And I need something to be in the middle here. I need to do something with this area. And I'm not entirely sure what. I'm thinking something circle-like. Circle-adjacent, perhaps? Um, 
Let's see. Is this on an even or an odd? It's on uh, even, of course, because it's chiseled bits. Naturally. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, I, I played Minecraft for years and the rule was always to do things on odds, but then chiseled and bits came around and then that rule stopped being a thing. Because even if you make it on an odd block number, block's still an even number of bits. So, uh, yeah, that threw that out the window a little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm kind of just going. Got these little thingy things here on the side, intentionally making them different number on top than the than on the side here. This is one. This is two. And um, what if I did this and gave two? Hmm. 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 Maybe let's try that on the other side and see what happens. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not great. Let's, let's see. And what if I put on the corners here to kind of round this out? It looks like nipples. Let's see what happens when there's four of them, maybe? Uh, oh, geez. This is a disaster. This is a mess. This is a big mess. Big messes were had today. Mm. These are a problemo. A big problemo. Uh, these are just like super ugly. Mad ugly. Let's get rid of this. Okay, I'm gonna put together like um, maybe a plus sign of these little squares. And what you calls it? Squares? That's what you call them. I don't know why I found this, found the urge to find another word for a square. A re technically, a square is, in fact, a rectangle, so I could have said rectangles, too. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. I don't know. Hmm. That's getting somewhere. That is actually getting somewhere, because w the design motif for this area is very boxy. Not, like, well, boxy, yes, and but lines, hard lines, hard angles, straight lines, not a lot of, like, wispy little things but more like straight lines, like this is all straight lines and uh, right angles and all that kind of stuff, so eh, maybe like that could work. Kind of box this corner in a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, in, inner, um, inner square? I think inner square helps? I can't tell. Let's try a line here. Uh, now it's getting a little bit, little bit busy, but um, we can maybe thicken some stuff out and try and make it stand out a little bit more from the other lines once we get this all set in uh, as it needs to be. Now it's a little awkward up here because there's not a lot of space, but maybe that could work to our advantage in a way. What if I add a second line here? Maybe. Maybe. Wow. Ah, no. That's in the way. Get out of there, you bastard. Okay. Um. That is interesting. <laughs> what happens if we connect this in here to make this one more of a solid... Mm. This? On the corners here? To connect these two? This might be too busy. It is. What? Uh, we either need to get less lines or more orderly lines. Or, I don't know, something else? Something better? A whole new world? A new game? That's not bad, but it's also not great. It's everything, all of these lines kind of like blur together and it is becoming problematic. Let's see, what, what if we just fill these areas in? Like this one, this one, this one, and that one. Those are filled in. No, no, that doesn't work. What about this up here? If this could be filled in and then we knock this part out. So it's like a plus sign in the middle and it's like a little circle-y doodad. Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. What if we take this line out here and replace it over here? 
Like that. And that'll give it some more definition. Draw your eye to it a little bit more. That is getting there. We are making improvements. Gradually, we are improving. We are. Okay. Um, the thing I think the thing about the ones on the side is that... I lost track of what I was do. Oh, okay. The things about the things on the side is that there's two thick lines and then there's one thick line, it's like one of these um, these units, and that allows the lines to not get lost in each other because there's more defined shapes. And I think defining more, having more of these two thick um, lines will help define that shape. Um, but uh, supposing a little bit of a trouble. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Uh, what if I make this too thick? And then there's, of course, how it interacts with the things on the side, which I haven't even considered at this point. That is definitely a design. It exists. Let's try and bring these down so it's less boxy. Uh, that might help. A little bit. It might help. Oh, stop it. What happens if we do this? What happens now? Let's experiment. We're doing science, folks. Mm -hmm. Science isn't so bad. Let's bring this like that. Uh, try and like poke this into that design a little bit. Ooh. I am a fan of that. Hold on. Let me get it on this side, too, so we can be symmetrical and see the whole thing. All right. Okay. I am a fan of that design. I like that. I have filled in this structure, and it's not completely done. Obviously, there's parts down here. But pretty much everything around here is not completely done. It just gradually changes over time. But I uh, added these little details in the, this part here to give this area, this light basalt, a little more depth. And I added this uh, concrete pole, pipe, whatever, uh, coming over here and making like an archway, and then I have the side here going diagonally down to meet uh, the concrete pipe. I, I, the more I look at this, the more I really like this design we got going here. It's fancy, but uh, the, also the more I look at this, the more I think that we are going to have to have some sort of canal, so we're going to knock out this area, which we'll lose that terrain, but I guess that's that's not the worst thing in the world. I, I want to keep this area and have it kind of be like the back part. And then over here is the docking station. Because it wouldn't really make sense for a ship to go through here. Because there's not a lot of space. There's This is back here. And that would be weird. And break up the thing and whatever. So um, I'm going to have the docking station be over here to some sort of... A bunker or whatever and not a bunker because it's like up in the middle and everywhere but uh just the docking station repair station stuff like that maybe a hangar could be like around here but uh first thing first thing that would need to happen is this tunnel needs to be uh as my game sounds are not active for some reason but uh i need to dig a uh, a thing what I wanted to what I want to do is define like a canal because I wanted this to be family made man made at, at least up until here because it's going to be incorporated into this very technical building. So I want to have walls that are flat, and so I'm just I just I'm just gonna define an area like this and then dig it out. I'm gonna put one here and uh over here. Is that the right place? Did I get it? No. It's one over from there. Alright, but that needs to go down quite a bit. So I dug out this trough-like thing. I, I cleared out the water because I'm going to replace it with bit rot water. The reason being is that water and bits don't play very nice uh, together. So I'm going to have to do some of that. But I'll do it after I fill everything in because it'll be annoying if I do it other way so yeah I got I got these kind of walls coming up 
around here. This kind of supporting black bit on the top, and then the, the, the lower bit is um, the clay. And I did that because that kind of... I'm, I'm going to also bring this probably like back like this. And then again on the other side, well, maybe not on the other side, because there's this big land mass. But um, definitely on this side where the docking station is going to be. And I need to do something with this inner bit over here, because there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> this was fortunate, fortunate enough to break up into an even number of segments so that I could do that. This, not so much. And it's annoying to count, because it's three and a quarter blocks wide, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but, uh, I think, I think it'll be better to break it up in some other way. I'm maybe, uh, let's not do it with full blocks, but I tell you, not do it with full blocks. Thank you. Thank you. I tried to middle click and it gave me the other one. Um, I wonder if I get some sort of pole down here and like have a black bit come across the middle and then another one on this side and then they have more of these things in between the black bits potentially well that looks bad um I don't really know what I'm going for here what if I do this let's try this just to keep trying random things until one of them works. That's how we do it here. Complete random chance. Like monkeys on a typewriter. Alright. Let's try and make this curve a little bit around here. Let's see, there's two on that side and two. Yeah, that's, that's even. And then once we clear this out, I can come and clear this bit a little bit out like that and that'll make it look a, a, a flow a little bit more with the rest of the shape yes um let's see what happens when i put a few more of them in uh, the more i look at this the more i realize i have to move this like a little bit over because I've lined this up with this little thingy in the middle because it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to put it anywhere else. But that means we have to move this one. I don't like it, but I think it's necessary. Okay, this is starting to look good. I got um, I got all of these over here. I kind of thickened these up too and made them three blocks wide as opposed to one block wide. And on each side, I put, I moved these gray uh, concrete things right up next to it, and I think that works well. Uh, I don't think there's any more detail that we necessarily need to add to this. I think at this point we can probably just bring the water in. I think I think I'm going to use where is it? Where is it? Please go faster. I know there are ways to speed yourself up, but uh, it makes it difficult to do bits. This material here, this fluid here, I think I'm going to use. I'm frozen in a lag spike right now, but I think I'm going to use that because it may, it looks dirtier, it looks murkier, and that will help uh, with the hostile environment feeling we're, we're getting now versus the water, which is pretty clean and actually a texture pack. <laughs> so I'm going to fill this in with bit water. I have the water or rather coolant in. It's only one block thick because uh, you can't, excuse, excuse, you can't have, um, Okay, can I please, but the buttons are being weird today. You can't have a thing full of um, bit water because then it will turn to a regular source block. So I only have one layer and I don't want to have multiple layers because then it will, you'll be able to see it. Like if I put this here and then here, like you could see the lines between the, the layers. So we'll have this area be air and that'll, that'll, uh, it'll be weird if we go under there, but it will also allow us to have easy access to do stuff down here, such as this area, which has been untouched aside from swapping out the blocks, uh, which is an area we will have to fix because it is ugly as all hell. And I also have this blocked off. I'm going to continue this, this water is something I'm going to continue expanding, but it's very tedious. So I have to do it in parts. I also did that river back there 
there, which the landscape still needs work, but I just basically just replaced the water with this. It takes a while because you can't use Builder's Wand or anything on a bit blocks, so yeah, but uh, that is way over all the time I have. It's been like six days, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to call the episode here. Next time we'll, we'll probably build a ship. Uh, here, uh, or decorate down there, or add to this building, something uh, over here uh, related. So I'm going to say good day to you, Internet, and thank you for watching.